So, Gabrielle, you had a, an interesting experience using unseen therapists with a group. And let me say, first of all, you're unique in this field because you're, you're not only a, a therapist per se, but you're also a medical doctor, right? That is correct, Gary. Okay. And those who don't know you, let me just emphasize that you have basically shifted your entire medical practice so that you use EFT, primarily the unseen therapist, rather than drugs and surgeries and all the other standard kind of stuff, yes? Correct. Correct statement. All right. Tell us just a little bit about that before we get into our regular topic. I mean, why do you do that, and how do you do that, and what are your results, that kind of thing? Um, uh, well, it's, it's written in your book, but I will just sh summarize that um, I've never enjoyed treating symptoms. I always thought that was the silliest thing to do, to prescribe drugs or whatever and look at symptom level only. So early on in my, uh, my uh, medical career, I already started wondering, uh, is this sensible? Is this normal? Is this the way to go? But we didn't have EFT back then. I go th um, maybe 30 years back when I started as a doctor. So the moment I, I learned EFT, I was very happy. And I, I first noticed results with myself. My, I had migraine headaches and, and backaches. And those went away completely. So that got me interested. And from then on, I started working with EFT and stopped using drugs and prescriptions altogether. And I'm really happy with that. And your, how do your results compare? I have beautiful results. In, I'm always very happy when people come to me because they know I have a medical background, although I try to keep that away from it as much as possible. But um, I'm always completely happy when people come to me with the specific goal of getting rid of medication and stopping with all kinds of, you know, painkillers and, and mm -hmm. whatever, whatever else is prescribed. And um, so I do get a selection of people that are interested in looking at lifestyle, at looking at resolving these kinds of issues. And they are open, you know, to the, uh, uh, the approach of looking at emotional causes of problems, not at treating symptoms. Out. Now, I'm just sort of saying it myself, but you, I'm going to have you, you know, fill in the details. But you had them identify a core issue, things like, I'm not good enough, okay? Now, that's a real, that's a broad issue that, that uh, is, is, is typically influenced by years and years and years of, of specific events and experiences and so on. You know, I'm not good enough, I'm not lovable, I'm, you know, things like that, okay? And, um, well, why don't you tell the story? You had them, you had them, Start, start off and give them a, give a zero to ten level rating, and then you did this something or other, and then they had improvement. Say the story. Yes, yes. So um, I had a group of students in preparation of the optimal EFT course that we will be um, um, allowing people to follow in a very short while in the Dutch uh, Gary Craig official EFT center. So in, a, in yeah, preparation, I'm going inter to interrupt you just so people know you are you are. Uh, the, the director of the of that Dutch center. I didn't tell people that before. So yes, go ahead. And um, so I mean, this, this the core negative belief of I'm not good enough, or I'm bad, or I'm worthless. It's the biggie that's in the metaphor with the tabletops and the table legs, the big one that mm -hmm. that really results from all the very early childhood stuff. And it's big, as you said. But anyways, so we were. We were in a nice space. This whole group was very interested in meditating and in, in, in understanding what Unseen Therapist is about. And we had done some meditations for personal issues. The whole group was for one of the people uh, in, the, in the room. And then I wanted to do your beautiful ballroom meditation, the guided meditation. Okay, just, all, just hmm? that, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, but just for those, for those listening in, the, the ballroom meditation is something that 
you know, I, I developed within our optimal EFT course membership, but it's, it's basically, uh, it, it gives the idea of everybody is in a, in the same room, it's like it's a ballroom and it's filled with love and, and we share love with one another. I mean, there's more details to it than that, but that's the essence of it. Right. So, all right. Yes. So go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. I'm sorry. So, uh, um, because you're floating around and having, you know, a nice time in the ballroom as your essence, as balls of light in the meditation, all of a sudden I thought, why don't we do, why don't we try something, you know, big because you enter this ballroom, you're a ball of light, you're your essence, nobody's judged, your past is gone. So I thought that might be a very nice way to address your core negative belief, such as I'm not good enough or I'm not lovable. So I asked the group to, you know, mindfully say I'm not good enough or their sentence, obviously it's a personal sentence, and assess between zero and 10 how intense it felt emotionally. And this is a group of seasoned EFTers, the tapping form of EFT. So they knew what, what, what they had to do and they were assessing their core negative belief and they were way, you know, way up, all above five, sevens and eights and nines. Um, because we had been looking at some stuff. So people were, you know, all the stuff that is going on was, not, it was nicely activated, as we say. And then I did the meditation. The guided meditation and that takes maybe five six minutes something I tried like it that. It. Yeah, yeah something like that um and again and and everybody really liked it so everybody came out and then i, I asked them to assess again how is your core negative belief now so everybody went you know silent and started assessing and i just saw all these smiles and people said that's way down. It's way down. So some of them had even had a zero at that very moment. Others had like ones and twos. Nobody above three. Now, I find that quite remarkable. Well, I'm going to put that in the category of impossible. Imp impossible meaning um, you know, other conventional techniques really can't do that kind of thing, especially in five or six minutes, okay? <laughs> to, to knock the center out of something, even if it's only temporary, okay? Which may be the case, because you really didn't have a chance to get down to the details and customize it with every person. But when you turn this kind of thing over to the unseen therapist, she knows a whole lot more about it than you and I, running around in human form, will ever know. And she knows a whole lot more than people who try to do tapping, although tapping is, can be a very effective thing. When we do tapping, we're trying to be detectives ourselves and do these things. And so it's, it's, you might be able to do something like that, but not like this. This is, this is unique. It stands alone. It stands aside. It stands above. Okay. And that's why I put it in the impossible category. So I'm sorry. I interrupted a little bit. So Please, carry on. No, no, I agree. These are seasoned EFTers, and they're, most of them are coaches or therapists themselves. So they were quite surprised at how, how big the result was, as, how, as was I, because it was a little experiment. I thought it was yeah. time for okay. a little experiment. Well, we don't know at this point uh, how many of those actually had a permanent result. Whether we, maybe we kicked the center out of it for a lot of them but there's some more stuff left over. Typically, you've got to get into some details, customize it to the individual. But to have five or six minutes, and how many were in your group? 18, I think. Okay. To have 18 people have this kind of result, you know, uh, we're going to give it the impossible level uh, label. Okay. Gabrielle, thank you. My hugs to you. Hugs back, Gary. All right. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye.